What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I have for y'all some additional leaked Black Ops 3 Zombies information, and in today's video, I have for y'all what appears to be the leaked main menu image for Shadows of Evil. Now before I do get started with today's video, I wanted to let all of you guys know that I have actually seen this image and known of this information for a couple of days. I've been keeping it to myself alongside a couple of friends, just because I didn't want to disclose all of this leaked information to the community, as I'm sure most of you guys aren't too happy with all of these spoilers, but at the same time, a lot of you guys are super excited for Black Ops 3 Zombies and extremely eager to see what Cherik has in store for us, but as I said, this is some leaked information regarding the main menu for Black Ops 3 Zombies Shadows of Evil, so down in the description below, I have for you guys a link to the Reddit article, because unfortunately, I'm not able to showcase the image here on my channel due to obvious copyright reasons, but as I said, make sure that you guys go ahead and click the link down in the description below. Now once you guys are there, you guys will actually see this leaked image and it's honestly super cool. Now what this image was taken from is from an exclusive GameStop event where people were actually able to play the Black Ops 3 Zombies game and I'm assuming that it's high officials within GameStop and other Treyarch or Activision dev members but I'm not entirely sure on the specifics of this entire exclusive event. But if you guys were to go ahead and click on this image, you guys will be able to see that we have two men standing in the forefront and these are just regular people who were actually able to play Black Ops 3 zombies, but in the back you guys can see the leaked main menu for Shadows of Evil. Now the first thing that you guys will notice as you take a look at this image is that the background or the setting of the main menu is not actually the Shadows of Evil map, and what I mean by that is that Shadows of Evil supposedly takes place within a city setting known as Morgue City, however this main menu setting is actually of a dark damp forest or a dark swamp, and as I said earlier, Shadows of Evil supposedly takes place within a city, so it is extremely possible that as we play Shadows of Evil, not only will we be able to kill zombies within a city setting, but also we will have some sort of transit system that will take us to the outskirts of the map or the outskirts of the city being this forest or being this dark damp swamp. On top of that, you guys can also see the character known as the cop in the forefront, which does confirm the fact that this could very well be the Shadows of Evil map, as you guys can see the top hat of the cop. And finally, on the right hand side, you guys can actually see that there are a bunch of tiny little circles, and these circles appear to be the gumball perk abilities. So I think that it's safe to say that before even playing Shadows of Evil, you are able to choose four different gumball abilities that you guys can access throughout the map. As you guys know, we have the Dr. Monty's gumball machine, and this gives your character special abilities, but from the looks of it, it appears that we are able to choose what abilities we want before we even play the map, but I guess only time will tell. But as I said earlier, make sure that you guys click the link down in the description below to check out this image for yourself. Let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section below. While you're at it, leave a like and subscribe so you never miss a future a Black Ops 3 Zombies video uploaded here on my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until next time, guys, this has been Swifters. I'm out. Peace.